Well, it's Tuesday, the 28th of February, 2023, and that means it's the weekly reset in Destiny 2, where the content rotates, the vendors and the challenges reset, and we've got a chance for new content to be added into the game. Well, stay tuned for the Lightfall information and Season of Defiance. We've also got seasonal challenges, Banshee's weekly weapons, and also what is in the Eververse store this week. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 95% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, Lightfall is here, so for all those with that DLC, it's time to head to Neo Muna. We're going to meet some Cloud Striders and we're going to end Callus's reign of terror. We've got a new Darkness subclass in Strand, plus a whole host of new weapons and armor, and loads of secrets to uncover. So this is the best time to be a fan of Destiny 2. So go out there and enjoy yourself, Guardians. Well, also today, as well as Lightfall, we've got Season of Defiance. That is also here, so if you need a break from that Lightfall campaign, then you get lost in some seasonal activities too. And talking about Season of Defiance, we've got a new trailer for that today. Let's check out that trailer. We now face a war on two fronts. One on the far reaches of the system, and the other at your home, Earth. The Shadow Legion has begun taking captives to the pyramids. Together, we will save the captives. The light provides. You will need more than the light to stand against the witness, but I can provide. Your light sings with the incantations I send forth. Let it flow through you, Queen's Guard, and I shall knight you myself. Breach the Ascendant Plane, and banish those who would oppose you. Remember what they took from us. Don't let anything stand in your way. I am ready to cut them down. I remember where I came from and who I'm fighting for. Devotion. Bravery. Sacrifice. Your people need their heroes. Well, that was an absolutely fantastic trailer there, so I hope you enjoyed that. And let me know how you're getting on with that Lightfall campaign, and also, what do you think of Season of Defiance so far? Okay, moving on with the weekly reset information, so the Nightfall for the week. Well, that is the Proving Grounds. And next up, the featured content. Well, for the featured raid, we've got The Last Wish. And for the featured dungeon, well, that one is Prophecy. Well, next up, let's have a look at the seasonal challenges. So it is week one of Season of Defiance. Let's check out those challenges. First of all, we've got Righteous Defiance. So complete the Defiant Battleground and the EDZ. Then we've got Awaken Queen's Guard. So complete week one of the We Stand Unbroken quest. Then we've got Legion's Bounty. So spend a Defiant Key to earn bonus rewards at the end of a Defiant Battlegrounds playlist activity. The Defiant Keys can be earned by completing Lightfall campaign missions, Terminal Overload in Neo Muna, raids, Vanguard Ops playlist activities, Gambit matches, and also Crucible matches as well. Okay, next up, we've got Silver Lining. So reach rank 12 with Nimbus in Neo Muna. And then we've got key card operated, so use keys to unlock Terminal Overload key chest in Neo Muna. After completing the quest Stargazer, Terminal Overload keys can be earned in Neo Muna by completing public events, looting chests, and also completing patrols. Next up we've got Neptune activities, so in Neo Muna, complete bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. And then we've got Taking All Challenges, the complete weekly playlist challenges. Next up, we've got Spark Defender, so score points in Rift and bonus progress is awarded for igniting the Rift. 
Then we've got Anti-Cabal Sweep, so defeat Cabal combatants in Vanguard players or strikes. You can earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants. And then finally, we've got Deadly Horizons, so calibrate long-range weapons, the pulse rifles, bows, and trace rifles in the Amuna, and bonus progress awarded in Lost Sectors. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the raids and the dungeon content for the week. So starting off with the Deepstone Crypt. The challenge here is the Core 4. Next up on Savathun's Throne World, let's go over to the Vow of the Disciple. The challenge there is base information. Next up, heading on over to the Moon. We've got the Garden of Salvation. The challenge here is a link to the chain. Next up, let's have a look at the Legends tab. So we've got the Vol Glass. Challenge here is Ensemble's Refrain. And heading over to the King's Fall Raid. Challenge here is Under Construction. Well, finally then, for the Focused Raid, and or the Featured Raid for the week, I should say, it's the Last Wish Raid. You can see that with all the challenges available. If you want to check out the featured dungeon, well that one is going to be Prophecy, and that one you'll be able to get some pinnacle gear. Well next up, let's have a look at the Vanguard playlist, and first of all we've got the Nightfall. So the Nightfall this week is going to be Proving Grounds, and it probably is worth noting that the difficulty level has been raised in Destiny 2. That is going to be really interesting, so if you get to do a Nightfall this week, do let me know down in the comments and let me know what you think of it. Grandmaster Nightfalls are not available just yet. They are coming back on April the 11th. And also, you've got the regular Vanguard Ops playlist as well. Worth shouting out that the Lake of Shadows and the Arms Dealer, those strikes have been redone. So that is something really, really to look forward to when it comes to Vanguard Ops. Next up, let's check out the Crucible playlist. So we have the competitive division. You could jump in there and get that random rolled version of Rose. You will need to complete your placement series matches. That has reset after last season. In terms of the rotating playlist for the week, well, that is Rift. That is your Crucible roundup for the week. Next up, heading to Gambit. We've got regular Gambit. You got Freelance Gambit. And it looks like they've taken away the pinnacle from Gambit. That is really, really interesting stuff. Let me know down in the comments. If you are a big Gambit fan, let me know what you think about that. Well, we are in the tower, as always. I must say, the tower is looking pretty different. I imagine all will be revealed. The bar. What are you up to? All will be revealed in the Lightfall campaign and the story, so that's going to be really, really exciting. Can't wait to jump into that. Well, back to the weekly reset items. Let's head over and speak to Banshee44 and see what weapons he has for us this week. Okay, looks like we've got a slightly new menu here with Banshee44. And going into the weapon, so first of all, we have the Whispering Slab. A pretty good bow. So we've got High Tension String. Helical Fletching. The Archer's Tempo. And Demolitionist. I think this is a new addition to Banshee 4. That is an interesting move there. Next up, we've got the Judgment of Kelgareth. That was a glaive available from last season, so that is really, really interesting too. Super cooled accelerator, extended mag, demolitionist, wellspring, and also we've got the origin traits as well. So ambush, AK breach armament. So if you missed out on a judgment at Kelgareth last season, well, you can get it now from Banshee 44. Next up, we've got peace of mind. But once again, this was available in the Witch Queen. Now it's available as a world drop weapon, I would assume. We've got Chamber Compensator, Alloy Magazine, Heating Up, and Vorpal Weapons. That is a really, really good roll for peace of mind. That is a fantastic pulse rifle, so definitely worth picking that one up. Next up, we've got the Seventh Seraph 
sidearm here, so that's very, very good. We have corkscrew rifling, appended mag, field prep, and snapshot sights. That is a very nice roll indeed. Finally then, we've got the quick fang. One comes with enduring blade, broadmaster's guard, we've got tireless blade, and flash counter. That is really, really good stuff. We've got even more weapons. So that is really, really interesting. So it looks like actually these ones here are going to be the well drop weapons. These are going to be the featured weapons. So that is interesting. So it looks like Bungie are bringing back a bunch of featured weapons per week. And then we've got the well drop weapons. So that is really, really interesting stuff. So we have a new weapon here. We've got Battle Scar. This is a new well drop weapon. So we've got Chamber Compensator. Steady Rounds, Shoot to Loot, we've got Osmosis, it's a very nice looking pulse rifle. We've got the Seuna S16, that is a sidearm I believe, or SI6 I should say. Polygonal Rifling, Extended Mag, Flick Draw and Headstone, that is absolutely fantastic. Really, really exciting stuff. Seeing all these new weapons. Very, very good stuff indeed. Next up, we've got the Fugue 55. That is a good roll as well. So we've got Arrowhead Break, Pended Mag, No Distractions, and Vorpal Weapon. That is a great PvE sniper. Well, next up, we've got the Staccato 46. This one is a solar scout rifle. So we've got Fluted Barrel. We've got Tactical Mag, Pulsive Reloader. We've got Rampage. Very nice indeed. Now we've got the Palmyra B. This is a classic. One of Banshee's favourite weapons. Confined launch, alloy casing, ambitious assassin, chill clip. Always good to have chill clip. Finally, we've got the Typhon GL5. Something that he sells on a weekly basis. Confined launch, augmented drum, genesis, one for all. A very nice looking weapon indeed. So, the headlines here we've got a couple of new weapons. We've got Battle Scar, a Sen Una, SI6. So, two new weapons there. If you want to dive in immediately, get some new weapons. That is really, really exciting stuff. And then also, we have the featured weapons here. I don't know if you need to own expansion or previous expansions to get hold of these weapons because I know these two here were seasonal weapons before but let me know down in the comments if you can access those weapons I'd be really really interested to hear from you well loads of really really exciting stuff there new weapons didn't see any new perks but next up let's go over to the Eververse door and see what Tess has for us for Bright Dust Okay, first of all, we've got Bruised Blush. As a shader, of course, we've got Butterbark. Out out. The DMG. Good looking one. And we've got Crystalis Entrance. Too bad. We've got the Metropolitan Cutter. Very, very good looking one. Got Fiddler's Dance. Look at that. And a nice little jig. Before we go there, let's have a look at this. Got the Limitless Subversion set. The set for the Hunter. Know down in the comments what you think about that. That one is available for silver only by the looks of things. That might be made available later on in the season for Bright Dust. That is silver only at the minute. Let's have a look at the rest of the Bright Dust items and see if we've got anything new. So we've got the Tetrahedron Projection. Looking pretty cool. We've got the Standard Bearer. That is for Cirrus Regime. Also looking very, very nice. Very clean. Got the Eerie Breeze, and that is for the Gwissen Vest. That is an ornament. There's probably an ornament here for every class. Hunters being the Gwissen Vest. 
And I must say, it looks pretty good. We got Archangel's Might. You know, it's that one. Very Rasputin theme. Rip Rasputin, of course. We got August Corsa. Very nice indeed. We've got Sleek Dance. <laughs> and we've got Victory Dance. Oh, yes. Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura or Dumb and Dumber. I think it's Ace Ventura. You can correct me down there in the comments. Next up, we've got a Vex Incursion Entrance. Then we've got Dreaming Shimmer. Then we've got the Minotaur Effects. We've got the Aposematism. Yes, look at that. Very, very orange. We've got Coppertone Patina. With a nice phrase to say. Oh, that one. Look very good with my ornaments there. Got Reef Made. Might be quite good for this season with the focus on the Queen. And we've got Deep Sea Jaunt. Well, that is going to be it for the weekly reset information on February the 28th, 2023. No loads to dive into today. Lightfall is finally here. We've got Season of Defiance. We've got that new campaign for Lightfall. We've got Strand. We've got so many new weapons and loads of secrets and exotics to find as well. Well, enjoy yourself. Don't play too much. Make sure to drink that water. Stop regularly for snacks and take regular breaks. But Guardians, enjoy yourself. As I mentioned before earlier on in the video, this is the best time to be a fan of Destiny 2, to go out there and have some fun. If you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content, and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, have fun this week in Destiny 2. I will be back later on this week with loads of videos. Well, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you real soon.